A new international game in the Arctic region has begun. Ice melting due to global warming opens unpredicted scenarios in key fields, such as trade and energy. Russia, the United States, Denmark and Norway face each other in a quest to broaden its continental shelves, in a territorial race that involves even the North Pole itself. The Arctic Sea is home to about a quarter of the world's oil and gas reserves and it links the Atlantic to the Pacific, but for nine months a year is covered by ice. From 1994, however, the ice sheet has been shrinking at an alarming pace, more than 40,000 square kilometers a year. The opening of the legendary Northwest Passage would allow new and shorter routes for the Northern Hemisphere. This would be the case of the Yokohama Rotterdam route, for example, that will almost halve from the current 11,000 sea miles to 6,000 miles. After Russia, Canada is the country that would take the greatest advantage from a reduction of the ice extension given to its 1,600 Arctic islands. But Danish, Greenland and Norway are less interested to the future developments in the region. In fact, Canada and Denmark almost clashed over a rock known as Isle of Hans in the strategic Narrow Strait, while Oslo and Moscow currently argue over state rights in the rich Barents Sea. Despite its proximity to the region, the European Union remains silent. This absence stems from a host of reasons, ranging from the strong Baltic vocation of Sweden and Finland, to the relative small weight of Denmark within the EU, to Norway's proud refusal to join the European Club.